Jason, you've been around for a while. I mean, how, how's it feel to kind of be one of the older guys, and how's this camp going, how's it going for you? Camp's going good. Um, Coach Sig has definitely helped us out with uh, the summertime and stuff like that, getting us ready to prepare for this year. Um, the offense is looking great, so I'm really happy to see what happens. Do you notice an extra element of confidence with you know the skill guys and just the passing game? Do you, does it feel like they're a little bit more confident in your two throwing the ball? Oh, 100%. I feel like oh, I think everybody across the board on the offense is very more confident with everything that happened with Coach Sig last year, first year in now. We got two new quarterbacks. We spent the whole summer time just down packing stuff that we knew would help us in the long run. It seems like you guys are a little bit more aggressive. Eh? Anytime we get a look, there's a lot more deep balls, it seems like. Would you agree with that assessment that there might be a little bit more aggressive on the passing end this year? Uh, I would say it's going to be about even this year. Mm -hmm. We're going to run if we have to, we're going to throw when we have to, we're going to do what we have to to win a game. Well, where are you running up most of the time? Left or right back? Uh, I'm beginning, I've been getting both reps going back and forth. I'm mostly like being a swing guy to help out. Um, someone goes down, be the next one up. So. The more you can do, right? Yeah, anything I can do to help the team win. How nice is it to not have to block Kalijah Kansi in practice this year? See, Kalijah, Kalijah made us all better yeah. coming into this year because it was like we blocked him. He was a, no, a what, first round overall draft pick, mm -hmm. first round draft pick. So it's just like we blocked that guy in practice all the time. So it was, we knew what he could do. So seeing him get drafted, we were like, all right, now we know what we can do. Who are some guys that you go up against in practice, maybe some younger guys that think, wow, like, they might they might really be something one day. I think they're gonna be guys like Elijah who make the offensive line better as they keep working. I would say uh, I knew uh, Isaiah Neal, aka Ghost. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be a guy that's gonna be a uh, standout. Uh, Jimmy Scott, he's making his way. Sam, Sam, Oklahoma, Oklahoma yes. Uh, he's gonna be another standout guy across that whole. That all the D uh, linemen across the board are gonna be like wow once they get their time and uh, time to shine. What do you kind of make of Mac and Salvas, a guy who's never really won a starting job, but he's started a lot of games and now he's preseason all ACC. What's that kind of say to someone like you that, you know, could have that same opportunity where you never know when your time might come? Like, our, like we always say across the whole board, next man up. Matt was next man up when Gabe went down and stuff like that. Matt played. Matt blew it out the water. It was a start. Did great. I'm hoping I can be that next man up and hopefully next year I can get the same thing. But Matt was Matt's a dog on the field. I, that's Matt does not get beat often. He is a strong force to be reckoned with. Jason, what was your response? What was the response of you and your fellow offensive linemen with the team wide deal? Because offensive linemen are offensive that get overlooked when it comes to big playmaking opportunity, but also you know bigger deals. But this one included everyone, including you guys. Yeah, it was nice. I will say, um, obviously, everyone has their little own individual deals, which is you know. Helps out everyone in different ways. I will say for a team wide, I think this is kind of like we were we were talking about it. Like it's not going to be something that we're going to be like, oh, we need, we need, we need. It, this is to give back to the community, give back to the public and stuff like that. To kind of you know show highlights of everybody in their own little like spot, like the O line one day, D line next. Trying to just give everyone uh, their little spotlight. Have you thought about what you might do with the cash? I'm going to save it up and everything like that so later on the road I can at least have something come out of college for it. Anything else for Jason? Uh, Jason, what have you made of some of the new rate covers on the offensive line? Like Ty Ray, Mike Fred, and DJ Williams? Obviously, it's only been about two months since they've been here. they got a lot to learn, but everybody was at that point when they were young. So they're going to they're gonna slowly fall into it and stuff like that. But they're they're doing good for as of right now in their spots. So. Okay, so you mentioned what was different. What was different this offseason? Why, why do you feel so much better prepared? Kind of? We Ever since spring ball ended, we already started watching film, started kind of going over the plays. Every day after a lift, we'll come out here and do extra work. As an O-line, the receivers will be out here with the quarterbacks. DBs will be out here doing one-on-one -on -one drills, stuff like that. Across the whole team, across the board, I feel like we put a lot more work in, kind of like how we did back in like 2020 and like stuff like that. Every year so far, we just added a little bit more elements to get better during the summertime. So when the season comes around, we're more prepared. Thank you, Jason. Thanks.